My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. This repair is specifically a Samsung Note 9 that has seen some water damage. And as a result, it's not displaying anything. I've been informed that there was corrosion on the connector and they believe that this is the reason there is no display. From the sound of it, it does seem to be turning on because you can feel it vibrate during a boot up. That being said, let's get into the video. Here I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that went for a swim. And even though it was protected by this, basically by this acclaimed waterproof case, it still managed to get water inside, apparently. So let's, uh, let's pop this apart, see if we can figure it out. Now it's apparently been open before, so this should be relatively easy for the back to come off. And yeah, it's just coming right off. Yep, makes my job a little easier. And get in there and disconnect the button. After removing the 18 screws, we can then pop away the plastic frames here with the NFC charging coil and the loudspeaker. First look at the logic board, not seeing anything crazy. They had mentioned some corrosion around the connector and I can see that they attempted to clean it because the pins are nice and dark right there. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this board and get it out of there. I've removed the two cameras, the SIM tray, and all of the connectors that connect the board. Let's take this under the microscope and see if we can figure it out. All right, so looking at this, looks like we've got at least five or six pins that are pretty, yeah, there's some movement. And then we've got a couple components here that are pretty dark. So let's just freshen those up with some flux. The flux acts like a, a cleaning agent, basically. It's gonna help clean the oxidation, the corrosion off of the solder. Before the flux gets too charred on there, I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol, clean that up nicely. Now I'm going to take my 183 solder paste designed specifically for FVC connectors and we're going to put a little bit of solder paste for the iron to pick up on and hopefully shine up and refresh these pins. We'll scrape at them a little bit, add some more flux. Now we can add a little bit more solder paste. And it looks like we just got one more. I'm gonna just kind of just scrape the top of them. Add some more flux. That looks really good now. Take a closer look at these components here. And then we'll clean this up. Now I'm gonna take my multimeter. I'm gonna test here. We get 0 0.4, 0 0.4. I'm getting good readings on all of them. Even these charred components look good. And now looking at the screen as well, we've got the corresponding corrosion on both sides of the connector. So first we're gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and the brush, see if we can get rid of some of the corrosion there. That side looks a lot better. Still touch it up with a bit of solder. And let's take a look as well. The other side needs a bit of cleaning. Yeah, I don't think that those are making solid contact. So to add some flux, take our iron. With a little bit of patience, I think we're gonna be able to freshen up the solder, get rid of the oxidation, get a solid solder joint back on each one of these pins. 
All right, before the flux gets too stuck on there, let's clean it off. Already looking a lot better, but we need to do it again. Rinse and repeat until it's, uh, until they're nice and, and shiny again. Add some more flux. Take a little bit of solder paste. Let's put it on there and see if we can get it to quickly freshen up. We go in and hit it. I think there was just like a little wall of corrosion that just wasn't letting the solder jump up onto the pin. So now that I have that clean, it might actually jump. Let's add some flux. Here we go. All right, let's see if that did it. Add some more for like the 10th time. Still don't see the jump that I want to on those two right there. We'll try it again with some solder paste. There we go. I'm like that. Plenty of solder now on all, each one of those pins. Go ahead and clean it hopefully one last time. Now that we have that connector all uh, touched up, Let's go ahead and install back the motherboard and let's test it. Connect up the display, connect up the battery, plug it in and see if we get any life. There's an image. The battery might be dead. Let's let this charge up a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of reassemble this phone. I think we're gonna be good now. So I've got the 18 screws back in, along with all of the other components. We just haven't installed the back yet, but uh, it needs some cleanup before we can close it up. So we're just gonna plug it in now, let this charge up for a bit, so we can thoroughly test it before really closing it back up. In the meantime, I'll show you something pretty neat. A little tech tip here. You got this little Dremel tool. Take one of these bits, flip it around, and tighten it down with the uh, the smooth side out here. Turn it on. What you can do is you can pick up the adhesive. Oh, it looks like, I think I'm running low on battery here. I use some sort of glue that isn't normal here to put it back together, but it's making quick work of it because this stuff isn't cleaning up well with um, isopropyl alcohol. Now that I've got that back all cleaned up and ready, let's take a look. Oh, and we've got a percentage, so let's go ahead and power it on. It's like we're getting a full image there. That's nice. We have no touch. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can figure that out. All right, so I've installed the motherboard in another frame to see if it's a issue with that particular display or if it's a board issue. So let's go ahead and power it on and see if this display touches or not. That way we'll know if we need to do more board work or if 
and needs a new display or if we need to work on the display itself. No touch. Let's see if it even wants to power off. Let's see, yeah. So it's gonna be a board issue. So let's take a closer look at that then. See if we can figure this out. All right, so looking at the motherboard again here at the connector, I'm noticing a missing component. Uh, this little filter here was knocked loose, so I just pulled another one and let's uh, put it back on if I can get it to cooperate. A little more flux, and there we go. Let's clean it up. We should be good now. Now that I've put back the filter that was missing there, um, let's go ahead and connect up the battery. And we'll put the back on. And let's see if our touch has come back now. First, let's see if it still displays. That's good. We get a percentage and let's go ahead and power it on and see if our touch is back. All right, let's test. And look at that, touch is back. And be professional, replace the adhesive instead of just slapping on some new glue or give it a clean finish. Clean up the frame, yeah, be professional. And there you go. With a little bit of patience and work, I was able to get this phone working again. A little troubleshooting was involved, but it wasn't that complicated. Hopefully you learned something. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.